Holly, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a kind of Q&A little thing. Haven't done a Q&A in about a month. I want to try and do these monthly. Not really sure why. Well, I do know why. It's because they're easy videos to film. Let's, let's not get ourselves here. So I did tweet out to you guys on the Twitter. Obviously, that's what tweet means. Uh, asking for questions. And I've just picked out a few that I've not answered before. Obviously, there are some stuff that like you guys asked that just wouldn't answer like one of the questions was rate the side men from least favorite to favorite i mean that's just mean that's just mean guys. oh yeah i'm not wearing makeup again because it's just long okay i'm actually gonna put this question first because i only picked it because i don't actually have an answer favorite show at the moment i need a new tv show to watch like i really do i love series like watching a series mostly like most of my favorite series that are american like friends how about your mother scrubs my windows are so loud. Why do my, why, my windows literally cry? But yeah, all those types of things. Um, Big Bang Theory. Like, I love American sarcasm. Kind of that kind of thing. I haven't actually ever watched the US Office, which I think I'd find really funny, because Steve Carell, I love. So if you do have any suggestions, I'm putting this first, because I expect the comments to be full, full of suggestions of TV shows I can watch, because I need it. I really do. It's, it's important. <laughs> Price Sideman said, what has been the best year of your life? Probably too late, but I well, it wasn't too late. I'm answering it. Um, genuinely, I think every year of my life so far has been the best year. So 2018, it's not finished yet, but so far has been unreal. It's definitely been. And like last half of 2017, so good. Definitely, definitely 2018, best year of my life. 2017 was incredible. 2016 was really good. Like each year seems to be getting better and better and better which I only have you guys to thank for that, so thank you so much. But yeah, definitely 2018, and I'm so excited for the rest of the year, like... I'm so excited. You're gonna be shook. I'm excited. Okay, next question. When is the CEP coming then? That shirt, Minter, so Winnie asked that. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I do tease things like this quite a lot. I am currently working on new music, and I cannot express to you how excited I am for you to hear the stuff I'm working on. Like, the way it normally works with like EPs and music projects, you record like 20 songs and five of them make the cut, three of them make the cut. You record 50 songs, 10 of them make the cut. Like you record so many more than you actually end up putting out. I'm only on the first few songs and I'm already like, these, this has to be part of the EP. There's no way these can be like cut out which doesn't normally happen and I'm so excited for you to hear them like ah oh. but yes there is an EP coming I'm not telling you when there may be a single sooner than you may think who knows who knows who knows well I know but you don't but who knows you know what I mean but yeah when's the EP coming not gonna tell you but it, it's coming this is a question about my last EP uh, by Get Gone Talia, so Lauren. What's your favorite song on Tough Decisions? If you don't know, my last EP was called Tough Decisions. I released it pretty much a year ago, like nearly a year ago. Um, that's really tough for me. I think it's either Spotlight or maybe Get Gone. Get Gone's really fun to sing because it's just like, you know, you got the guitar. Get all your bags. And obviously it's my outro song as well. If you don't know my outro song, it's one of the songs from my EP. Um, Spotlight's like a proper belter. Like I got to really sing in that one. Um, Work It Out's really fun to perform. That one was so fun to perform at my last show that I did like last year. I loved singing that one. It was just like, I felt so sassy. Work it out, I don't wanna speak now. I just felt all like, do you know what I mean? Oh, that's actually really hard. 20 Reasons though, sing, oh, what's my favorite song? I'm gonna say Spotlight, I'm gonna say Spotlight. Is it? It's Spotlight. Is it Spotlight? It's Spotlight. Maybe, who knows. Are you going to release more Martian merch soon? So, that's from Lainey by the way, Lainey Brooke. At the moment we have this jumper, a t-shirt, and another one of these, but in like orange, like my nails. Orange is the best color in the world. I have a few designs that I'm really excited about that will be released this year, 100% I'll be doing more. Um, I don't know if I'm restocking these. I mean, if I do, it'll probably be more like winter time because they are hoodies. Um, but yeah, I'm, oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm working on them currently. I'm working on stuff all the time. Like I'm so busy, you guys, in the best way possible. But I am really busy and I'm doing this and I've obviously got my music, my YouTube, like everything's just kind of like doing this at the moment and I'm just in the middle like, 
Do you know what I mean? Just like coasting through. Um, but yeah, so there are new designs coming. There will be more stuff on martianclub.store. Very excited. Yes. Cara asked, asked, A-S-T, can you do a gymnastics video, please? So I posted a picture yesterday, yesterday, day four, a few days ago, and it's me doing like a gym kind of move. Some of you probably know, most of you probably know, in fact, because I think I have mentioned it a few times. I was a gymnast. Um, I trained for like 10 hours a week, every week for I don't know how many years. Yeah, I don't really know how to do a video on gymnastics and make it entertaining. Like I do want to teach the gal gang, that would be jokes, that would be so funny having them try and do moves and stuff, but I don't know how to do a solo gymnastics video and make it entertaining and not just be me like, oh, I'm doing a backflip, oh, I'm doing the splits, oh, I'm doing, it's like, okay, great. If you have any ideas, please let me know. When are you going on holiday with the gal gang? Says Road to Kink. <laughs> um, where we're we going? I'm pretty sure we've actually said, but if not, then I'm telling you now. We are going to Mykonos, which I'm so excited about. I actually go to Miami next week. Oh my God, next week, this week, next week. I go to Miami at some point. I land from Miami and then like 14 hours later, I'm on a flight to Mykonos or something like that. So I'm extremely excited, which is also why I'm kind of busy because obviously I have so much filming to do to like try and keep up with everything. <gasps> That's a lot, but yeah, we're going to Mykonos in Greece. So excited. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I highly suggest you do. It's just here, it's Talia Mar Music, and I'm be posting so many photos from Miami and Mykonos, like, I cannot wait. Going on holiday is the best place to get photos. Gonna be good. Any advice on how to make more friends for someone who finds it difficult from Musical Mar? Hello. Um, honestly, I'm awful at making friends. Literally horrendous at it. People, because I'm quite, oh, I'm really bad at giving advice, like, I'm not, it's really weird, like, I wouldn't class myself as shy, but I am very socially anxious. They are quite, I would class them as different things, because once someone kind of breaks the ice for me, I'm not shy and I'm very good at talking to new people, so I'm not shy, but, it's the anxiety of like, what if I start talking to this person and they immediately hate me or I talk too much and I annoy them or just all these like anxious things that run through my head. You just have to be, try and find the confidence in yourself that if you do annoy someone, it doesn't matter. Like you are going to annoy people. There are people that you will annoy and there are people that will annoy you. It's just personality clashes and that's all you have to remember. It doesn't make you a bad person. Like the amount of people I irritate is unreal. It doesn't make me a bad person. It just means they find my character annoying. And likewise with other people, I'm gonna find them annoying. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. Our, like our personalities just don't match and that is fine. You just have to remember that. But yeah, don't go looking for friends necessarily. Just. Be yourself, don't worry about it. You will you will make friends, I promise you now. As someone who struggled so hard, friends will find you. Like, the people that you're meant to be friends with, you will cross paths and you will find each other, guaranteed. So, okay, King Rafi, I don't really know what his actual name is. It's S-H-X-R-D-S. Best event in the year so far, and where are you going next? Fire emoji. Um, oh my God, honestly. Well, I mean, obviously the Maldives event was unbelievable. That was incredible. Um, but that was kind of a trip, so it's not necessarily an event. Um, Sideman football match, had the best time. Like, I was literally sat there screaming my lungs out. If you didn't know it, I did do a video on it and I'll link that, it, I probably won't link that, it'll probably be somewhere. Just look on my channel and look for it, okay? It's one of my last videos, I'll forget to link it. But um, yeah, I had such a good time, and like, I've never screamed so much in my life. I've never screamed so much in my life. It was embarrassing, but it was so good, I loved it. And then where am I going next? My next event is actually in Miami. So excited! Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it or not, so I'm just gonna keep my mouth zipped. Um, and then after that, probably the fight is the next event, which I'm so bloody excited about. Oh my God, no, the fight! Oh my God, JJ versus Wella. How did I forget about that? That was a sick event and that was this year. Oh my God, that was unreal. Although I was so nervous for that. Apart from JJ, it's also the first time anyone had seen me and Simon together. Like we'd never like properly addressed it. We'd made jokes and stuff, but not actually. And obviously I posted the photo, like it was, that was, oh, I was nervous, I was so nervous. But yeah, so that, that fight was really good. To sum up, not really sure. 
Where am I going next? Can't tell you. And then the fight. <laughs> Quality answers from Zalia. Smarna Ravila. Cute name. Do you ever get cringed out by your own voice or songs? How do you get the courage to post if you do? I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too. Oh my god. Do I ever get cringed out? I don't think anyone can watch me and not cringe. That's just my personality. I'm very awkward, very cringy, and very just don't care. But I think, um, I find it really hard, like, if someone else puts my music on, I have to, like, leave the room. I'm literally just like, <gasps> please don't. I really do struggle to listen to my own voice. Like, editing my videos, I don't, I don't cringe watching me. But, like, I would never just sit and watch my video back just for fun. Like, that does not sound like a good time. So, the, the courage to post, honestly, it's just like, I just don't care. Someone leaves a comment saying, I hate you. It's like, okay, so, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it really doesn't matter what people say about you. As long as it's not true. That's, that's what you have to remember. If people are saying, she's a horrible person, she's a gold digger, do you get that a lot? Um, and it's true, well then yeah, it should affect me because it's like, I would then need to reflect on the sort of person I am and it's like, but if I know in myself that these things are true, it's like, why should it affect how I feel? Why, why should I not post just because someone says my voice is annoying? It's like, okay, don't watch it. I don't really care. Like, doesn't make any difference to me if you find my voice annoying. <laughs> and it's easier said than done. Like, I know a lot of people are like, well, how do you just not care? You need to seek validation from yourself and that's the only person you should care about impressing. It's actually, I only really noticed it the other day. I was in a shop, music shop, asking for, like, I wanted a new microphone. They were explaining it to me in a very, very, like, not childish way, but they were using terms and then explaining the terms as if I didn't know what they mean. My mum was like, why didn't you just say you knew what he was talking about? Like, did you not feel, like, embarrassed that he thought you didn't know anything about this? And I was like, I literally couldn't care less what his opinion is of me. Like, I'll just let him talk to me how he wants. Like, I still get the same information. I don't care if he thinks I know, like, if I'm good at music, it literally doesn't affect whether I am or not. And she was like, that's actually, that's mind boggling. And like, I genuinely don't seek approval from other people. I only seek it from myself. I don't compare myself to other people. I only compare myself to what I want to be, rather than comparing yourself to where someone else is. Because that, it's not you. It's not you. I don't really know what else to say, honestly, like, I feel like, I feel like this is a good place to end the video because it did get a little bit deep. That's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, go, get gone. gone.